Welcome back. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. New at five, more than a million dollars is making its way to Richmond's historic Jackson Ward. According to Senators Mark Warner and Tim Kaine, that money is earmarked to help revive areas in need. Eight News reporter Alexis Bellamy joins us now live from the Digital Center with what this money will do. Alexis. Yeah, Eric, Deanna, good evening. The grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation will be going directly to the Jackson Ward District, and here's why. The area was split in half by the construction of I-95 and I-64 back in the 1950s. Hundreds of families were displaced, and the historic community was separated from the rest of downtown Richmond. I love it here. It's I love Richmond, and I really like Jackson Ward. Um, it's my favorite part of the city. Lane Holden calls Jackson Ward home. I spoke with them today and they say they are looking forward to the changes and improvements the money will bring. It, it would be nice. Um, there's a lot of disrepair with the infrastructure that needs to be attended to and the people in the community and in Richmond. $1,350,000 is going towards the effort to improve access and reconnect the historic African-American Jackson Ward community through the creation of a new bridge or freeway. Back in 2021, Senator Kane visited the neighborhood with U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg to learn more about how physically dividing the community decades ago impacted the economy and the people. Now today, this new money will go towards incorporating transportation connections, public spaces, and opportunities for future development. It's good. I think the wealth any wealth that can be spread to the people and to areas that need it in certain ways should, and it's good that it's coming back into the area. Now, the money is being awarded through the U.S. Department of Transportation's Reconnecting Communities Pilot Grant Program. One of the program's purposes is to provide technical assistance to reconnect communities that were previously cut off from economic opportunity by transportation infrastructure like Jackson Ward. In the Digital Center, Alexis Bellamy, 8 News.